Thanks so much for keeping it simple. When Microsoft launches Windows 10 in a few weeks, there will be six different versions to choose from. Dan, why so many versions? <laughs> you know, this always seems to happen every time there's a new version of Windows. For Windows 10, we thought they were going to go much, much simpler than Windows 8. The, the operating system is much easier to use. It doesn't have that whole separate tile interface and the regular desktop interface. Uh, if you get an Apple computer, they've got OS 10 for desktops and laptops, and they've got iOS for mobile devices, and that's it. Uh, here you've got Windows 10 Home, which is a basic edition everyone's going to have. Then they have Enterprise Edition that has some additional like, IT features. Then they've got Windows 10 Mobile. It's going to be for phones and small tablets. Enterprise Mobile. Then like a Pro version. Then an Education version. Then an Internet of Things version. <laughs> they, they, they seem to feel like people want to pay different price points and uh -huh. kind of specialize in what they buy rather than just giving you everything and letting you choose what to use. Is Microsoft singling out what they think is going to be the most popular, most popular within certain age demographics? You know, I think what they want to do is they want to make it easy for casual consumers who just have a laptop or desktop at home to get the regular home version of Windows 10. And to that effect, it's going to be free for at least a year when it comes out. You can just upgrade and you get the new one because they want everybody on it. But if you have a big business or you're an IT department, they want you to buy in bulk. So the enterprise thing is buying bulk licenses. And education is like discounted education licenses for schools. All right, Dan Ackerman, thanks for stopping by. Thank you.